Hello everyone and welcome to the start of a new series on the channel and that is my classy discography series. So I check them out as part of my discography series and I was intrigued so I decided that I wanted more so I'm going to be diving into their discography. As you can tell things are a bit different on this channel that's just because when I get to know an artist music is what I gravitated to uh, towards most and I find visuals are very distracting so when I get to know an artist I fall in love with the music then I dive into all the other stuff um, you know even if you have the best music videos out there amazing stages but if I don't connect with the music all of this was in vain um, also it's always going to be reviews and not reactions just because I like to take my time with albums. What I'm looking for is replay value. I thought that this whole thing because I wanted to extend my playlist. So I want something that I'm going to be able to listen to multiple times and not get tired of it because I am the type of person that will abuse a song. Like I, will, I can listen to one song for 24 hours. So if the song is going to be something that by the third listen I'm tired of, what's the point? So um, the best way for me to really convey my opinions and really get to know the album and just really know what my feelings are and which songs are the ones that I play the most, which one grew on me, reviews work best. Um, so for this first episode, I checked out their album, Lives Across, and this was good. It was a good follow-up to that very first album. Um, you know, that one was also good. So coming into this, I had a bit of exp of a list, like the things that I wanted, and listening to this, it definitely lived to my expectations. Main thing, production. I have really fell in love with how a song is made and all the little details that go into making the songs. So every time I listen to an album, I look for the ad libs, the song progression, um, how the transition between the chorus and the different verses happen, what sounds effects are there. And, you know, this album made me really curious as well because it was so good. I wanted to find out everything about it you know i could get this as just instrumentals and like no sound well not no sound but no singing whatsoever and i would still be happy it is that good the energy that they bring to the song is just so contagious it's like really um imposing you know the song start and immediately you just fell into the rhythm of everything so um, even though I love all of the songs on there, I really, really love one song. There's one song that is way above the others for me, and that is classy. Yeah, I'm so classy. Love or hate, the church to one girl. Quan she may tell the living girl. One and the mop number one. Beauty do out of people work. Someone on it, who am I?
And that was my favorite song in this album. It just really represents everything that I feel about this album. The production is so interesting. Their vocals are just so um catchy. The energy is there and it's just so good, you know. It's the chorus will get stuck in your head and it's definitely a song that is just so easy to get addicted to. So let me know in the comments which song ended up your favorite, which is your favorite album and song of all time when it comes to classy, and which era do you think I'm going to love the most?